Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Tay TV. My reaction video for today, I will be reacting to One Day in the Coldest Village on Earth. This is my first time reacting to this. This is something different. I saw this video a day ago, and I decided I, I wanted to react to it and see what this video is about. So this video is called One Day in the Coldest Village on Earth. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what videos you, you guys would like me to react to. Um, get me to a thousand subscribers, and after I get to a thousand subscribers, and once I monetize, I will um do um public um interviews. So again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're going to get straight into this um video. Every morning, is to heat the house with a wood burning stove to keep his family warm on the ice cold morning in Yakutia. Because of the severe climate, Kirill needs a lot of wood to heat the house for nine months non-stop. So he has to have his house heated for nine months non-stop. Non Just like a dessert, drinking water in your good village is precious. There is no, no water, water treatment. facilities because the pipes freeze during the long winter. So ice is the main source of water. Kirill and the villagers harvested the ice from the river in the middle of November when the temperature was favorable to harvest the ice. Cutting ice with a knife. Meanwhile, Kirill's wife Lyubov is making delicious and traditional breakfast, Kyrcha, whipped cream with a strawberry jam which was harvested during the summer. In Yakutia, Due to the harsh climate, it's almost impossible to grow fruits and vegetables. It's possible so most to of the Yakut desserts consist of dairy food. It's 7.40 a.m. and it's time for Aryan, the youngest son, to wake up. It's time for the young son to wake up. They have a son. Aryan is 9 years old and attends the local primary school. The children in Yakutia will go to school when it's warmer than minus 54, minus degrees. 54 degrees. But when the temperature drops below minus 55 degrees, it's too dangerous, it's too dangerous to go to, to, go to school. See, is related you gotta to be careful in warm weather. I live in America, so. Must go to yeah, school. so sometimes, I mean, I mean cold weather, so in cold, like in most cold weather, sometimes the world, you gotta be he careful. His face and brush his teeth. Depending on Aryan where you're at. The ice cold water that his dad prepares earlier. Fatty pancakes and whipped cream are high energy food that high energy you food that cold. warms you up during cold winters. Aryan's older sisters are living and studying in university far away from the village. His parents wish for him to study well so he can live his life as he wants. Educate them to work hard, okay. In Yakutia, locals understand the importance of learning the right clothing to survive in such extreme winters. It's an absolute must to wear several layers of yeah, clothing you had to wear and wear layers out there. Several layers. Because the knees are particularly prone to freezing. Especially your hands freeze up. Aryan's mom always makes sure that Aryan wears enough clothes because without proper dressing, the cold will reach deep inside your bones, threatening your life. She also makes sure that his face is fully covered, otherwise the exposed part can get frostbite. Okay.
Тан кемне лайга олар бу нюрентере утарбен билендер куталлак болади. Я усвоив димат скул сейф. The temperature outside is so cold, so the moisture immediately forms little icicles on his eyelashes. Little icicles on eyelashes. Ten minutes in the fresh air can be enough to cause fatigue, stinging pain in the face, and long-lasting aches in the fingers and toes. But little Harta Jacobs knows how to fight the cold. If you want to be on camera, you want to be behind the camera, you want to do radio, podcast, whatever it is. But after a few minutes, the icy weather begins to assert itself forcefully. Arian has been on his way for, for 10, 10 minutes, minutes already, and now the 9 years old Arian is freezing. It's freezing. Luckily, the last few meters are left and Arian is finally at school. Arian arrives in time, and there are already many children who have also arrived by food. By food. Arian is studying in the third grade of primary school. The primary school lasts four years, and in Yakutia, education lasts 11 years before going to university. <laughs> Sock there are about eight students class. in the class today, and five hours of daily studying begins. Today they have math, literature, art, geography, history, and languages. Yakut people study three languages at school: Russian, English, English, and Saka. Saka is the mother tongue, which belongs to the Turkic group and is totally different from the Russian language. For daily life, studying and working, knowing the Russian language is essential. <laughs> After the first two lessons, it's time for second breakfast. The main menu is today. apple and eggs. Eating regularly is essential to increase energy in the cold features for little Yakut. After breakfast, they play indoors, they play indoors. the temperature is too cold, cold to play outside. outside, and after all, it takes too long to dress up again. Physical culture. Usually the classes end at 2 p.m., but today Arian finished a little earlier. Now he is on his way back home with his friends, and like kids all around the world, they can't ignore the local snack shop. Everyone likes ice cream, and Arian and his friends are no exception. They mm, love cool sweet weather. and creamy frozen ice cream, despite the extreme cold. Arian and his friends on their way home are playing little games and having fun. Parents are not worried about their children. It's a close-knit community. All the locals know each other, and there are about 800 people in the whole village. Almost all the houses are made of wood. Each resident burns more than 60 cubic meters on average every winter. For the house to keep warm and to protect the house from the freezing air, they make sure to fill every gap with oakum or snow, or snow, but still, the cold finds a way to come through. 
Wild Tibetan horses are also neighbors in this icy land. They have thick skin and heavy hairy coats and are able horses. to effectively forage in the snow for vegetation to eat. The Yakutian horses can cope with temperatures down to minus 70 degrees. <laughs> the horses. Aryan is back home and ready to help his father. Most men in the village are engaged in the cattle breeding, so hunting, they breed and or hunting or crabs. Okay. Same as Aryan's father. Min, het is kwam aan de hand dat hij mij boe hoe hanen dan jerk kan hebben. Hij mij mij een kleed dat ben ik aan het staan met die is hoe arat je moet je dat op. Tot aan wanneer dat mij weer het dag de dag kan je boe die je garen wil hadden wil. Bij een beetje een moet hij meer een jerk kan hebben. At least knives or dishes. Kirill Petrov is well known craftsman in Yakutia. Kirill makes traditional Yakut knives. For many centuries, knives have played an important role in the lives and the culture of Yakut people. Yakut knives are well known around the world for their strength and beauty. Aryan's father is teaching him these traditional crafts that has been passed through the generations. The blade is traditionally forged from the locally sourced iron ore. The knife iron. handle is made from birch wood, which is extremely strong. There you go. Another of Aryan's daily duties is to chop the firewood. Aryan knows from early age that daily work is necessary to survive in such extreme cold. Let's take a look inside the Beard Club's advanced kit. A six item set that will help you care. Now it's time for lunch and Aryan is always here to help his mom. They are preparing a Christian card Christian fish which is that's called in the river. Which is that's called in the river. People love eating fish and meat in a frozen, boiled or fried state. <laughs> After the work is done, Aryan rushes to the toilet outside. In Yakutia, there are no indoor toilets yeah, because no the pipes toilets. is easily. Oh. Everything happens outside the stand very efficiently and no one spends more time than necessary out in the cold. This fish is Aryan's favorite. It's so tasty and the most delicious fat and nutrition part is the fish roe eggs. Fish roe eggs. Mm 
Yeah, this is a different reaction video out of all the videos I, I react to. So I'm gonna come across different videos. Yeah, they live different than Coden's place on Earth. So fishing or hunting. Fishing and hunting are important sources of food in Yakutia. From early spring until the autumn cold, the Yakuts are eating fish. Aryan loves fishing. Yeah, the coldest place on earth. You will have to work hard March, and be careful at the, the same time. time. For Kuyur, which is traditional ice fishing. Using their rods and nets, they start fishing. Let it go fishing. Arian loves spending time with his mother in nature. They are fishing, hunting, and working hard to survive in this extremely cold but beautiful land, Yakutia. After a few hours, finally, Aryan has caught the fish. Caught the fish. After a few hours, dang. <laughs> you don't need to worry about bonking the fish because in just a few seconds it's shock frozen. Life in Yakutia can be difficult, unpleasant and dangerous, but we have learned how to live in harmony with Mother Nature and we appreciate nature, the nature, treasures and gifts. treasures and gifts that surround us. We can always find a beauty even in this extremely cold climate. After all, there is no such thing as a bad weather, there is just weather No such thing as bad weather, just your attitude towards it, okay. This is it for this reaction video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next reaction video. Thank you.